स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास आई एम डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट टू फ्रॉम योर एन सी आर टी बुक मैथमेटिक्स क्लास ट्वेल्व ओके एंड हियर आई एम डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन द प्रॉब्लम बेस्ट ऑन इनक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन फ्रॉम योर एन सी आर टी बुक ओके एंड हियर इज ए क्वेश्चन इज दैट एंड हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फंक्शन आर स्ट्रिक्टली डिक्रीजिंग ऑन ओपन इंटरवल जीरो टू पाई बाई टू ओके हियर द फर्स्ट फंक्शन इज गिवेन कॉस एक्स सेकेंड फंक्शन इज गिवेन कॉस टू एक्स थर्ड फंक्शन कॉस थ्री एक्स एंड फोर्थ वन इज टेन एक्स लेट सी वन बाई वन फर्स्ट पॉइंट ए गिवेन वर्ड कॉस एक्स हियर एफ एक्स गिवेन कॉस एक्स फर्स्ट फंक्शन गिवेन कॉस एक्स ओके ओके सो वॉट यू नो अकॉर्डिंग टू इन टू फाइंड आउट द इनक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द स्लोप ऑफ द फंक्शन by finding the derivative okay derivative of fx is equal to minus sin x yes or no f dash x is minus sin x understand okay yes so now you see in the interval 0 to pi by 2 we we'll got here in the interval 0 to pi by 2 we know in the interval when in interval open interval 0 to pi by 2 and all of you know okay we know that what do you know the sin x sin x is greater than 0 means positive yes or no sin x greater than 0 positive in the first function in the first quadrant when the okay in the interval 0 to pi by 2 it means the angle lies in the first quadrant in the first quadrant the sin x is greater than 0 which is positive that implies minus sin x is less than 0 that implies fx f dash x is less than 0 hence f is f is strictly f is strictly decreasing decreasing in the interval in the open interval 0 to pi by 2 understand or not okay is it clear so let's see the second function and here fx given in the second function is given that fx is equal to cos 2x cos 2x understand let us find out the derivatives in the similar manner f dash x is equal to minus 2 sin 2x understand Now you see here you see the x belongs to given that x belongs to zero to pi by two. It is given that that implies zero is less than x is less than pi upon two is less than pi upon two. Understand or not? Okay. It means the domain x lies between zero to pi by two. Here the angle is two x. Let us multiply it. Okay. Here. Two on the both side of the inequation. Two into zero. Two into zero. What? Two into zero. You can write zero is less than two into x is two x. Okay. Is less than two into pi by two is pi. Understand? It means when the x lies between zero to pi by two, then two x lies between the interval zero and pi. Understand? That implies now sine zero. Is less than sine two x. Is less than sine pi. Yes or no? It means that implies the sine two x. Sine zero will mean zero. Yes or no? And less than sine two x and less than sine pi. Understand? It means you see the two x lies between zero to pi. The two x lies between zero to pi means which quadrant? Zero to pi. This is zero and this is pi. Understand or not? So zero to pi means which quadrant? This is the first and second quadrant. So angle lies in the second quadrant, and we know in the second quadrant sine two x is what? Sine theta is always positive. That implies we can write sine two x is greater than zero in the second quadrant in interval. Zero to pi, is that no? Understand? If sine two x is greater than zero, then it is given that minus 
2 sin 2x minus 2 sin 2x will be less than 0. That implies what are you finding here? So if this x is less than 0 in the interval 0 to pi. Understand? Okay. So if this x is less than 0 in the interval in the interval 0 to pi. Thus and it is also it is clear that if f is since f dash x since f dash x since f dash x is less than 0 so according to definition the slope of the function is becoming negative slope so dash x less than 0 means the slope of the function is becoming negative like this slope of the function becomes negative understand so f is strictly strictly decreasing strictly decreasing okay in the interval 0 to pi upon 2 understand so f dash x is so the function f is strictly decreasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2 understand so you saw in the first cases the cos x the function fx is equal to cos x is strictly decreasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2 understand and similarly the second function is cos 2x also Okay, strictly decreasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2. Let us see the third function. Let us see the third person. Okay. Understand? Okay. Let's see. Understand this first? First and second bit. Let's see once again. Here fx is cos x. So derivative of x is minus sin x. This is the slope of the function. Now you see in the interval 0 to pi by 2. We know that sin x is greater than 0. Why? Because the x, the angle lies in the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, we sin theta is always positive. So, sin x is always positive. That's why sin x is greater than 0. And if sin x is greater than 0, here is given f dash x minus sin x. So, minus sin x must be less than 0. Understand? It means f dash x is less than 0. Since f dash x is less than 0, it means slope of the function is becoming negative. That's why if the slope of the function is negative, understand? So, f is strictly decreasing function in the open interval 0 to pi by 2. Similarly, the second function is cos 2x. Okay. So, what is the derivative of it? Derivative of the function f dash x, which is minus 2 sin 2x. Okay. Here, the angle x lies between 0 to pi by 2. It means 0 is less than x is less than pi by 2. It means we have here the angle is 2x. So, multiply 2 on both sides of the inequation. So, 0 multiplied 2 is 0 is less than 2x is less than 2 into pi by 2 is pi. It means, okay, understand. So, now if I multiply sin 2x on both sides, it means, you see, and uh, since 0 is less than 2x is less than pi, we know the angle 2x lies between 0 to pi. It means first quadrant and second quadrant. And in the first and second quadrant, according to ASTC rule, okay, or sugar to coffee. As for the proper okay understand the signing the conventional signs of the trigonometric ratio and you know in the first and second quadrant the sin x is positive that's why sin 2x is positive it means sin, sin 2x is greater than 0 in the work in the in the interval 0 to pi it means minus if sin 2x is greater than 0 in the interval 0 to pi here the derivative of the function is minus 2 sin 2x so minus 2 sin 2x will be less than 0 it means f dash x is less than 0, okay, in the interval 0 to pi. Thus, it is clear that the f dash x is strictly decreasing function. Since f dash x is less than 0, so we can say the f is strictly decreasing function in the open interval 0 to pi by 2. Is it clear? Understand? Okay, let us see the third function. Okay. In the third function, let's see what is the third function given here. In third function, given uh, here, given fx is given cos 3x is given cos 3x. That implies finding the derivative. Find out the derivative f dash x is equal to minus 3 sin 3x. Understand or not? That implies 
you see here the domain given x belongs to 0 to pi open to 2 is it clear that implies 0 is less than x is less than pi upon 2 yes or no so here the angle is 3x so multiply 3 on both side of the inequation 3 into 0 is what 0 is less than 3 multiplied x is 3x is less than 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 means which quadrant you see the angle lies in which quadrant 0 this is pi and this is 3 pi by 2 understand or not the so first quadrant second quadrant and third quadrant it means this function it means the 3x belongs to 0 to pi, 0 to what 3 pi by 2 understand so you see here you see the 3x divides here 3x divides and here 3x divides the interval interval 0 3 pi by 2 into 3 design into 2 into 2 design interval 2 designed 2 designed intervals yes or no 2 designed intervals ok 1 is 0 pi and another is what pi and 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 here understand you see the real number here the domain uh, the 3x divides the interval 0 3 pi by 2 into 2 design interval 2 design interval understand or not ok is it clear means first is the first interval 0 you see now here is what 0 and this is 3 pi by 2 and here pi so here getting uh, two intervals two design intervals we have to find out and in the interval 0 to pi we have to check whether the function is increasing or decreasing and in the interval pi to 3 pi you have to check whether the function is strictly increasing or decreasing okay understand okay since in the interval 0 to in the interval 0 to pi what are you what are you seeing here what are you seeing that implies you see in the interval 0 to pi you know the sine 3x is greater than 0 so in the it means when the angle will lie in the first quadrant and second quadrant 0 to pi this is 0 to pi so sine theta sine of angle trigonometric ratio is always positive so sine 3x is greater than 0 understand or not is it clear if sine 3x is greater than 0 it means you can get that what are you getting you see it is given what what is the f dash x is minus 3 sin 3x must be less than 0 that implies f dash x is less than 0 it means the function f is hence f is strictly strictly decreasing in the interval 0 to pi understand ok this is the first point so in the function so you see now in the interval 0 to pi the function is strictly decreasing let's see strictly the function is strictly decreasing in the interval 0 to pi in the next interval pi to 3 pi so in the pi to 3 pi means pi to 3 pi means angle lies in which quadrant Lange, angle lies in which quadrant so this quadrant and this quadrant that is known as third quadrant understand okay is it clear understand note down is it clear now once again see fx is equal to cos 3x so f dash x is equal to minus 3 sin 3x now see the interval x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 it means 0 is less than x is less than pi by 2 so 0 is less than 3x multiplied 3 on the both side of the inequation because the angle is 3x so 0 is less than 3x is less than 3 pi by 2 it means the 3x belongs to the interval 0 to 3 pi by 2 now you see if you clearly see the angle 0 to 3 pi by 2 this is this point is 0 you see 0 to 3 pi by 2 this interval 
ओके इज डिवाइडेड थ्री एक्स डिवाइड द इंटरवल जीरो टू थ्री पाई बाई टू इंटू टू डिजाइन इंटरवल वन इज जीरो टू पाई वन इज जीरो टू पाई एंड अदर इज वट पाई टू थ्री पाई बाई टू अंडरस्टैंड सो हियर थ्री एक्स डिवाइड द इंटरवल जीरो टू थ्री पाई बाई टू इंटू टू डिजाइन इंटरवल्स वन इज जीरो टू पाई एंड अदर इज पाई टू थ्री पाई बाई टू सो इन द ओपन इंटरवल जीरो टू पाई यू सी साइन थ्री एक्स इज एट दैन जीरो we know that in the first and second quadrant sin theta is always positive okay whatever the angle whatever the value of angle in the first and second quadrant sin theta is always positive so sin 3x is greater than 0 because it is in lies in the first and second quadrant similarly so minus 3 sin x is also if sin 3x is greater than 0 here the derivative of the function we got f dash x which is minus 3 sin 3x So if sine three x is less than zero, so minus three sine three x is less than zero. It means the f dash is less than zero. It means the slope of the function is less than zero. So the function is strictly decreasing in the interval zero to pi. Is it clear? Understand? Now let us see the another interval. In the second interval, what? Okay. In the second interval, what? Pi to three pi by two. So here, understand. So here is zero to three pi by two. This interval is divided into two part. One is the zero to pi. Here the function is strictly decreasing. And in the next interval, pi to three pi by two. In the interval, pi to three pi by two. In this interval, you know, here the angle lies in between the pi to three pi by two. It means three x belongs to pi. And three pi by two. That implies three x lies between which quadrant? Third quadrant. In third quadrant, what is that? The sine x. The sine three x is less than sine three x is what? Less than less than zero. Okay, negative. That implies minus two sine three x minus three sine three x minus three sine three x. Is less than zero. That implies f dash x is less than zero. Thus, it is clear that f is decreasing function. F is decreasing function in the interval given interval zero to pi by two. Okay, here f is strictly strictly If minus three x sine three x sine three x is less than zero, so minus three x is greater than zero. Sorry, if three x belongs to pi to three pi by two, the sine three x is less than zero because in the third quadrant, okay, sine theta is negative. So if sine three x is less than zero, so minus three x, so minus three x, oh ho, so minus three x is greater than zero. It means the f dash is greater than zero. So if the function is strictly, what I mean? The function is strictly increasing, not decreasing, students. Okay, understand? We are mistaken. So is it clear now? It means f is strictly increasing in the interval what pi to three pi by two. Understand? So in this interval, the function is strictly increasing. In this interval, the function is strictly decreasing. So in the interval zero to pi, the function is strictly decreasing. And in interval pi to three pi, the function is strictly decreasing. Here, the function is strictly decreasing in the interval zero to pi, zero to pi upon two. Understand? So in the in this first point, we saw the function is strictly decreasing in the interval zero to pi by two. And in the second point, we saw This is the second point you can write, and the function is strictly increasing. F is strictly increasing in the interval. In the interval, what? Zero to pi by two. Understand? So it is clear that the function is neither increasing nor decreasing in the interval zero to pi by two. Is it clear? Understand or not? Okay. This point you can once again see here. A little bit we have mistaken here. F dash x is minus three sine three x. Here three x belongs to pi by three pi by two in the second in the third quadrant. I am talking. So sine three x is less than zero in the third quadrant. 
Understand? Because the 3x, the angle 3x belongs to third quadrant. So sin theta is negative. So sin 3x is less than 0. So minus 3 sin 3x is greater than 0. So if dash is greater than 0, it means the function is strictly increasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2. Understand? In the first point we got function is strictly decreasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2. And the function is strictly increasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2. It means the function is neither increasing nor decreasing. Understand or not? Is it clear? So we got what you got here. So here in the third bit we got for for the function fx is equal to fx is equal to cos 3x. Okay. And f is what? F is strictly what? Decreasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2 and f is strictly function is strictly decreasing in the interval what 0 to pi 0 to pi and strictly increasing in the interval pi to 3 pi by 2 that implies f is neither increasing neither strictly increasing nor decreasing in the interval 0 to what 0 to pi by 2 is it clear understand ok now let us see the fourth bit is it clear now ok ok let us come to the fourth bit so each and every bit we have to discuss and each function there are four functions are given we saw uh, in the three cases now let us see the fourth cases fourth function is that and here is given the d is equal to function is equal to fx here fx given what tan x let us find out the derivative of function effect is equal to what x square x understand since x belongs to 0 to pi upon 2 and in the first quadrant that belongs to which quadrant first quadrant and we know the first quadrant x square x is greater than 0 that implies f dash x is than 0 thus the function f is strictly strictly increasing in the interval 0 to pi by 2 understand so thus we got in each and every cases in which function the function is strictly decreasing and in which function the function is strictly decreasing and on in which case the function is neither decreasing nor increasing understand students okay thank you all of you let's see let's watch let's practice let's follow once again thank you